guys welcome you all to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew your dress and i'm going to be having patches also on this dress okay this is like a very simple form of dress and you can achieve this especially if you are thinking of going into ready to wear dresses now this style is one of those styles you can add to your collection and it's actually very beautiful all you have to do is to make sure you make use of colors or fabrics that are actually very beautiful so that it can look very attractive so before then don't forget to join us on facebook to the designs on instagram to designs and also visit our website guys we have amazing illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below now what are the basic measurements required we have our shoulder measurements bust measurements waist hip and our gown length so we we'll go ahead now and calculate our measurements so our shoulder measurement is 14 14 divided by 2 we have seven inches now another thing you also have to consider when you want to achieve this style is your sleeve right is your sleeve so let me just go ahead and explain this there are two ways in which you can get your shoulder measurements first one is to have your basic shoulder plus your sleeve length and your sleeve length totally depends on how long or short you want this to be so for us now we've said that our shoulder is 14 inches now we'll go ahead and add our sleeve so i really don't want my sleeve to be very long so i'm just going to have about eight inches for my sleeve okay we are going to have about eight inch eight inches for the sleeve now what i mean by that is this our shoulder measurement is here where we have 14 inches go ahead and add your sleeve measurement to your shoulder measurement because you are going to cut it together so you can you can one either take your measurement from your shoulder that is from the middle bone of your shoulder to your desired length that's the first one or you have your shoulder measurement plus your sleeve measurement you are still going to arrive at the same answer so now we have seven inches we'll go ahead and add our sleeve length to it which is eight inches so we have plus eight we have 15 inches so plus eight now we have 15 now the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and add our allowance to it so I'm just going to add about one inch for my allowance so we have plus one we have 16 inches it simply means that our shoulder measurement now is 16 inches that is from the combination of your shoulder with your sleeve length and you can also measure it directly let me just show you guys how to if you want to get it directly let me just put this back so if you want to get this directly this is our tape measure go ahead and place it at this center bone up to your desired length so up to this part now you are still going to have your 16 inches so if you want it longer or shorter but basically it's usually very short somewhere around this part of your arm so you also arrive at the same answer or you just make use of this method add your sleeve allowance to your shoulder measurement you will still arrive you will still arrive at the same answer whichever one you prefer so aside that now let's move to the other measurement that we have so we have our bust measurements which is 36 divided by 4 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 11 inches our waist is 30 30 divided by 4 plus 2 we have we have 9.5 our hip is 38 38 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 11.5 inches now our gown length is 34 we'll go ahead and add our sewing allowance to it plus 2 inches we have 36 inches so these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve this dress and kindly give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe feel free in the course of this video if you have any question feel free to drop it in the comment section or you want any topic or you have any topic you want us to make a video on feel free to drop it in the comment section and don't forget to join us on Facebook to the designs on Instagram and also visit our website so now so guys, I'm going to make use of this African print and 
African prints are available at our store. So the first thing we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and fold our fabric into four our fabric into four equal parts so the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and take our basic measurements right so we have our shoulder measurement which is 16 inches So this is our shoulder measurement, which is 16 inches. So from this point now, we'll go ahead and mark our round sleeve. That is the amount of fabric we want to use for our sleeve opening. So I'm going to make use of 9 inches. So we have 9 inches at this point. Now, of course, this 9 inches, we'll go ahead and mark our basic measurement, which is shoulder to bust. I'm going to make use of 10 inches. Bust to waist, I have 8 inches and waist to hip, I have 9 inches. So this are the lines. So go ahead and impute our measurement. So our bust measurement now is 11 inches. This is where we have 11 inches. So because this is not a fitted This is where we have 11 inches. So because this is not a fitted gown, you go ahead and add how many inches. That is how free you want it to be. Note that you can add about 3 inches, 4 inches, 5 inches. It depends on how free you want this dress to be. So I'll go ahead and add about 4 inches to mine. So I have 4 inches. So I'm actually painting it so that you guys can see it because of the fabric, right? So for our waist now, we have 9.5. This is where we have 9.5. So we'll go ahead and add our 4 inches also. For our hip now, we have 11.5. We'll go ahead also and add our 4 inches. So once you are done with that, we'll connect it together. Connect it together. So this is what we have. Now we'll also extend this to our gown length, okay? Our gown length, which for our gown length, we have 36 inches. Now what we are going to do now at this point is, this is where we have our shoulder and this is where we have our bust measurement and of course we don't want here to have like this sharp we don't want to have like a sharp effect at that point so what you are going to do now is at this your bust measurements mark one inch this way mark one inch so you just connect it like this Can you see? This is where our bust measurement should be. But at this point now, we went ahead to mark one inch this way so that it can come down. So you just connect it to give you a curve. So let me go ahead and cut this out before... Okay, let me mark our... Let's go ahead and cut this out before we mark our neckline. Next thing we are going to do now is we'll go ahead now and insert our neckline. So for the wideness of our neckline, we'll go ahead and insert our neckline. So for the wideness, I'm going to make use of 3 inches. Why for the depth, I'm going to make use of, for the back block, I will make use of one and half. This is for the back block. And for the front block, I'll make use of four, four inches. And I will also open it because what I want for the back block is, for the front block is keyhole neckline. So I will also open it also at this part. Okay, so let's go ahead now and cut this out. So we've cut it out this way. So I will open it up before I cut out the front block. it out now you can see the opening for the front block so we are going to have you can see the front neckline which is open and you discover that we followed you also discovered that we followed our pattern so you can see the way 
we have our pattern coming this way now we also want to attach patches to this part of the dress so when you want to attach patches to the dress one thing you have to take note of is where you want your patches to be okay so your patches can either be at the right hand or at the left hand or somewhere around your hip area so you just go ahead and decide where you want your patches to be and what shape you want your patches to have so now we'll set this aside so i'm going to make use of this patches not that you can use more than this or lesser than this right so you can make it of maybe two prints three four five six it depends on what you want to achieve basically so the first thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to determine my measurements okay i'm going to determine my measurements for my patches so for the wideness now i'm going to make use of four inches and for the deepness i'm going to make use of six inches so I have four by six. I will go ahead and cut this out. So after cutting it out, this is what. So after cutting it out, this is what I have. So I'm going to make use of this now to cut out every of the fabric. So I've gone ahead to place my three fabrics together and our sample. So now we'll go ahead and cut them out. After cutting them out, this is what we have. So you go ahead and determine how you want to place them. So it just depends. You can just place them anyhow you want. So I think it's kind of fun like this. So let's say we have bright colors this way and then we have dark colors this way. It just depends. You can just place it anyhow. Our gown and this is the front block. So we'll go ahead and just place this here and look at how it's going to look like. So you just keep on placing it to check if this is what you want, if you are fine with it or not. So let's just place this this way. What do you guys think? Do you think that is nice like this? Okay, so I think I'm just going to leave it this way. Bright colors this way, dark colors this way. So what I'm going to do now is this. So we we'll set this aside. We'll go ahead and cut out our facing for our neckline so you can either make it of facing or bias it depends on what you want to achieve at the end of the day now is take your fabric again and fold it into four head to fold our fabric into four now we are going to take our main dress this way and place it like this Once you've placed it, you go ahead and chalk where you have your back neckline, your front neckline, and your keyhole neckline. So I've gone ahead to mark them. So this is our neckline for the back. We'll go ahead and cut this out. So in order for us to also achieve the keyhole, we'll also open this up so that we don't cut out the back block together with it so open it up now you now go ahead and cut out your front neckline and then you open up your keyhole so you've gone ahead now to fold it back next thing you are going to do now is determine how many inches you want for your facing so i'll just go ahead and mark that this way so i made this of about seven inches we just marked seven inches for our facing so we'll go ahead and cut this out our facing you can see and you can see the front block so Now, the next thing you are going to do now is this is your neckline and this is your facing go ahead and place it this way
go ahead and place it this way now you stitch the neckline the front neckline and then you stitch the back neckline now before you do that go ahead and aim this tip of your facing so that you can have like a very nice finishing okay so after stitching the neckline i'll show you guys what it looks like now for our patches we've decided that we want it to come this way so what you are going to do now is go ahead and stitch it up to give us a single piece okay so we'll go ahead and couple this up this way the way you want it to be to give us a single piece so once you are done with that i'll show you guys what next we have to we've gone ahead now to um our neckline and this is what it looks like so for the patches now we've also gone ahead to join it together and i went ahead to iron my gum stain just to give it like a form of structure so what we are going to do now is you will go ahead and determine where you want to place your patches so let's say we want to place our patches this way or like this it depends on how you just want to like position your patches right so once you've done that now okay i think like this is better i think i kind of like this way or this way let me see but anyways once you've gone ahead to determine how you want it to be now you will go ahead and stitch it this way go ahead and stitch it so it's advisable that you make it of pin to pin it down so you make sure you pin it down and then you stitch it all the way right so after stitching it now after stitching it the next thing we have left is to go ahead and fold our sleeve so you just fold your sleeve after folding your sleeve you just stitch this part all the way down okay so let me just come over again now you have your neckline and we've ironed our gum stay to our patches go ahead and place it where you want it to be and then you stitch it if you want it to serve as a pocket you might not stitch this upper part you can just go ahead and stitch the two sides and the lower part so that here can serve as a pocket but you can just go ahead also to close it up if you just want to have just like a patches on it so once you're done with that you go ahead ahead and m your sleeve area go ahead and m your sleeve area and then you stitch this all the way down right so after that i'll go ahead and put this on the mannequin and show you guys what it looks like so guys this is what it looks like you can see the patches so we made use of it to form a pocket and then we have the upper parts you can see what it looks like so i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i will see you guys in my next one bye